You're probably used to fairy tales starting out once upon a time. Have you ever heard of Once Upon a Goat? This is written by Dan Richards and read with permission by Penguin Random House. I think that's so cute how they've made it look like the goat has taken a bite out of this corner. Once upon a time in a faraway kingdom, a king and queen wished for a child. Yes, but where would we put it? asked the king. Next to the vase on the hearth, naturally, replied the queen. Or beside the roses in the garden, the king added. Oh, yes, perfect, agreed the queen. Did you catch that they called it the baby uh, an it? One day, their fairy godmother stopped by for a visit. Tell me what you desire, she asked. Would like to start a family, said the king. We're not particular, said the queen. Glowing skin, bright eyes, and hair like ocean waves should do. Hmm, said their fairy godmother. A boy would be great, added the king, but any kid will do. Of course, answered their fairy godmother. Look on your doorstep when the moon is full. At the next full moon, the king and queen ran to the door. Let it be a boy, said the king. With hair like ocean waves, said the queen. Bah, said the goat. I wanted a baby, cried the queen. It's my fault, wailed the king. I said any kid would do, but I never meant this. You know, a baby goat's called a kid. Reluctantly, the king and queen brought the little beast into their home. Look on the bright side, said the king. We can still hold it like a baby. It has a goatee, replied the queen. We don't need to change its diapers, said the queen. That's disgusting, replied the king. At least it loves the royal roses, said the king. That's it. It has to go, commanded the queen, eating up all those roses. I guess we're better off now, said the queen sadly. A stand had to be taken for the roses, replied the king. Of course, said the queen. That night it rained hard. Mm, it's not our fault we were given a goat, said the queen. Not our fault at all, added the king. And yet, I wonder if we were right to send the little fellow away on such a blustery night. Clearly, he lacks the good sense to find shelter. I suppose he could come in for just a bit to dry off. He looks hungry, said the king. Maybe he could share a nibble or two from our meal. It's late. We can hardly send him away now, said the queen. He shall have to stay in our room for the night. It's only for the night, said the king. One night turned into weeks and weeks into months. You can see he's still causing destruction. Before long, their fairy godmother returned for a visit. How is everything? Wonderful, replied the king and queen. Perfect, may I see the child? Oh, isn't he darling, said the king. A blessing, added the queen. You must be joking, said their fairy godmother. It's a goat. Yes, left on our doorstep when the moon was full, just like you said. Uh-oh, said their fairy godmother. I'll take it back. Oh, dear. This is really, this is for the best, really. My sincere apologies for the misunderstanding. I'll just return the goat and that will be that. Wait, said the queen. Perhaps there's an alternative, said the king at last. Yes, I see your point, said their fairy godmother. And look who's joining the family. Well, said the king, not exactly the family we wished for. No, replied the queen better. Fun. I really enjoyed that one. I hope you did too.